One of the things that we've recently discovered is there is a subgroup of cardiomyopathies where the heart and the skeletal muscles can be involved. Um, and so for this particular subgroup, if your child is affected with one of these particular uh, subtypes, they can have muscle weakness that may not just be associated to their heart condition. Um, in these particular cases, it would be really helpful to see a neurologist, somebody that specializes in muscles and muscle weakness. Um, and then also to understand that it can be tricky because sometimes your heart can make it hard for you to exercise, but that we want to try to be on top of everything to make sure that these kids are being able to achieve as much as they can achieve. Um, and so that's where a neurologist can be really helpful in coming in to say, is this muscle weakness because their heart isn't optimized and they're having still some signs of heart failure and we need the cardiologist needs to work on that? Or is it that they have some underlying muscle weakness and that would be a job of the neurologist to work on? Um, so this is just one very specific example that we've seen in the last couple of years from the research that our group has done at the Pediatric Cardiomyopathy Registry um, on how the genetics has really, really helped doctors have a better understanding of cardiomyopathy in children and how to better treat it by knowing what the underlying genetic cause is. Thank you.